What up? We are back, people. Yeah, there's Scott. We are back after a really long vacation, but um, we're back, so uh, let's get moving. I can't even learn over the vacation. Nobody special with Scott. It's a new classic thing. Ooh. It's Me. Scott and Dan. So, so I guess first things first, we would like to apologize for the long vacation. Yes, but Scott has football, that. and I'm too lazy because I have all the crap. Other yeah. What? <laughs> you know, like other crap. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but. Well, we're okay. here now. <laughs> so that's all that matters. We've been away for a month, but now we just our best episode. We got Steel Panther, Vin Sevenfold, everybody on set. No, we don't, but we got the <laughs> CDs. No, we don't. I don't have a Steel Panther CD. But we will be talking about Steel Panthers. No, time for Jerk of the Week with me. Jerk of the Week. Hello there, people. I am Dan Hoyt. There are many jerks out there, and I will teach you about them. To this week. Teach you about them. This week we have Steel Panther. In the recent song, Death to All the Metal. Death to All But Metal. Okay. <laughs> anyway, they stated the following in this song. All these bands, Papa Roach, Blink-182, they're all following words have been censored. <laughs> now time for new releases with Scott Shroff. What's up guys? Okay, now it's time for music news. No, it's actually new releases. So, <laughs> okay, first band that came out with something new is Trapped. Their new album is called No Apologies, which has a song called No Apologies. Sound Dark Dar. And something about Mrs. or Mr. or something like that. It's Keep a going. really good album, so buy it. <laughs> and now Soundgarden has their like greatest hit slash weird album called Telephantism. It's awesome. And by the way, about Soundgarden, we heard me and Adam, you know Adam, from the last segment. <laughs> we heard, um, if any of you guys know the song Spoon Man by Soundgarden. Spoon Man. We Man. saw um, a Bill Nye, the science guy thing, where they um, parodied Spoon Man, and then it was all about pressure. Okay. So it was really weird, because I was telling Adam about Spoon Man and stuff. So, yeah. And the last one is Bring Me to the Horizon. They have a new album called There's a Hell I've Seen It, There's a Heaven, Keep It a Secret. So, yeah, that's a lot for, that's more of a metal fan news. What are you album. doing? I don't know. All right. But those are three Hold on. releases. Uh, people, um, me and Scott were pretty unprepared for this episode. We're sorry. So Scott doesn't have a paper, so it may seem like he's, because he's just going off the top of his head, so. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, we'll see you in the next segment. What's up, people? Um, it's now time for some 99 cent CD reviews. Special and edition. Yeah, we have a special edition because Scott was at the dollar store. Cheapo. <laughs> and um, he found a weird CD that had some famous songs, but it, they were actually parodied Sorry, yes. by these really retarded people. Right, Scott? Yes. So now it is time to put this CD called Hogs inside the thing, and then I gotta get this out. Okay. Having some technical difficulties here. Technical difficulties, please stand by. Okay, we got that. Okay, to open. let's go. We got that to open and now we're gonna listen to the first song which is oh weird it wasn't actually a parody, they're actually trying to do the songs. But the first one's born to be wild. Pretty bad version. Yep. If you've listened to the original. If you can feel how paper thin this way this thing is, it's like sort of paper thin. <laughs> oh, it's not as bad as you might think, but it's not the real version. Obviously, yeah, obviously. You can barely understand the guy. Okay, now we're gonna go to We're Not Gonna Take It, which is not pretty bad. The music behind it sounds good, it's the guy's voice. We're not gonna take it. No, we ain't gonna take it. It sounds kinda like him, but it sounds way too stupid. Kind of like, I like the background music though, it works really yeah. good. Okay, go, go before my 
my ears melt. Now it's carry on my own. I think that's pretty obvious. <laughs> that's, actually, uh, that's actually part of the song. Which you, no, I know. I know which it's song it is. It's just funny because they suck. <laughs> I like this song. I just like the original a lot better. So, so you heard that. And now we're going to go off to our fourth song, Tom Sawyer. Alright, how about we pause it? Wait, just a bottom song. day warrior mean. Oh, I love this song, Tom Jacob's Ladder. Give me it. This is Tom Sawyer. Tom Sawyer. It's by Rush. I know. Okay. It's also called Jacob's Ladder. It's called Tom Sawyer. Well, I love this song. Yeah. And but this version <laughs> it's okay. anyone could love. No. All right. So what do you think of those four songs? Sucked. The background music, I guess they played the loop on the background music. Exactly. And just re-sang it. So what do you think this got? Waste of a CD? For a dollar, it's not bad. But I, I, I would say it's a waste of a CD. Me too. Because waste if you're going to do this, at least get the real songs. Yeah, like. Seriously. Come on. Like, it wasn't even like a parody, like, you know. It was just... Some stupid guys doing stuff. Yep. They also had Mississippi Queen, but we're not going to go all the way there. Yeah. And uh, Sharp Dressed Men. Mm-hmm. So, I'm Dan. That's Scott. And tell us what you think about this and anything that we did today in the comments or on Facebook. Oh, tell on you. On Twitter. Tell us to see how good you can make fun of the CD. Uh, and leave it in our comment box, our best jokes. It is called Hogs, and you can look at that dude right there. Looks okay. like my sister in the morning. That is messed up, but could be true. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a nose ring right there, just telling okay. you. And, uh, so. See ya. See ya.